the big difference between performing and a non-performing mortgage notes. This is the biggest difference, and I've touched on the biggest difference already, the money. Let's see, performing mortgage notes cost more than non-performing, and we all know why that is, right? Because you're getting a guaranteed cash flow, you're getting a guaranteed return, it's better than you could earn in most other places, but if you don't have the money to do it, you don't have any other choice if you're not gonna buy defaulted mortgages. And this is no disrespect meant for any of you guys that buy current mortgages, it just means you have a heck of a lot more money than I do. You don't need to have the skill set that you have to have when you buy defaulted mortgages. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's easier. Performing mortgage notes carry less risk than non-performing. Non-performing, that's what you have to learn how to do is measure risk. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend as much time as I can talking about that today, okay. Performing notes are generally acquired for return on your investments. We all talked, we all heard that, right? You understand that? I'm sorry, I need to change my slide. Come on, dude. Come on, there we go. Acquiring and working performing mortgage notes require less skill and experience. It's nothing against the guys that buy the, the, the current mortgages because it's great, but it's a different skill set, different marketing, different everything. Now, the non performing mortgage notes are generally acquired as a re rehab project. It's either you're either, either going to rehab those notes or you're going to have to foreclose. That's it. There's not, there's not too much in between. Of course, I mean, there are guys that want to try to sell notes and stuff like that and broker them. I understand that. That's not my game. I'm not going to talk about that. What's easier to successfully rehab a note or a property? Everybody has their own opinion based on your skill set. I have no skill with tools. We used to have to call my father-in-law to come over to the house to even turn a screw to close the door better. So I had no skill. But if you're, if you're good with tools and you have your own tools, maybe you can learn how to be a rehabber. But to rehab a note, you gotta have some gray matter and you have to know where to spend it. You have to know where to put forth the effort.